Meanwhile, Medicaid is exploding. More than 50 million people are now collecting benefits. That's one out of six of us. And that's before the new health care law adds millions more to the rolls. My next guest says that is going to be a double whammy for taxpayers. And no one understands the subject better than this young lady, Betsy McCoy, the former Republican lieutenant governor of New York, one of the few people on the planet who have read the entire health care law. Wow. It's going to go from bad to worse. Well, it is a double whammy for people who work because when Medicaid expands, your taxes go up but also your own insurance premium goes up whether you pay for it yourself or it's taken out of your paycheck at work. And the reason is that Medicaid only pays 86 cents for every dollar of care delivered. It shortchanges doctors and hospitals. So they have to collect the rest by charging the privately insured patient more. And that's why your premium goes up. On average, already, a family pays about $1,700 a year extra because of this shortchanging from Medicaid. But you're saying all, this is, built, but all this is built in here, right? No, I mean, no, no. This is before the health Okay, so this starts. thing, you know, the 2,000-plus pages that you've read and highlighted and all that, I mean, there are a lot of little surprises in here. Well, but Medicaid isn't a surprise, unfortunately. The president promised that he was going to solve the problem of the uninsured by making health insurance affordable. But what the law does actually is put about 60% of those people into Medicaid. And the law says that, you, that states have to offer a benefit package comparable equal to what people who have private health plans get. So it's going to be a much rich, richer benefit package, and they have to offer it to many more people. They raise the income ceiling and outlaw asset tests. And so there are some big losers. For example, somebody who's always worked hard at a low-paying job just to get those good health benefits for their family, where's the incentive to do where's that when incentive? you can get it the same get benefits on Medicaid? Um, you know, uh, Max Baucus, who, who co-wrote this, in fact, was one of the earliest backers of well, this. Well, his whole staff co-wrote it. You're right, you're right. And to that point, when he was asked on this question as to how detailed he went over this, he had a bit of a surprising answer. Maybe not surprising to you. This is Max Baucus from last week. I don't think you want me to waste my time to read every single word that held for you. You know why? It is statutory, written statutory language. It takes a real, real expert to know what the heck it is. We hire experts. Wait a second. He's been in the Senate 42 years, and he's not an expert yet? You know, the Washington Post... Well, I think Post, what he's saying is there's a lot of legalese in Well, there. it's not so hard. The fact is he should read it before he votes on it, and what the Congress should have done with I this I thought the massive, Nancy Pelosi view was... <laughs> First vote on it, then we'll find out what's in it. They should have taken this 2,700 pages and put it in a paper shredder and given us a 20-page bill in plain English that anybody could read without all this. Maybe like one of those little Apple pamphlets. Look, the, the framers Apple. established the entire federal government in 18 pages, so 20 pages should have been enough. So two more but than the Constitution. Fortunately... You give them two more than the Constitution. Right. 21 states are now suing to overturn this Obama health law because it shreds the Constitution. And one of the major reasons is Medicaid. Because, you see, this law forces the states to offer this benefit package many of them can't afford. In the past, states had the leeway to decide so it's being what ran benefits... Down the you, by the way, you, real quickly, you argue it's not such a slam dunk this law even exists, right? If even Virginia gets its way. Well, that's right. Virginia has already won an enormous victory. They defeated the administration's motion to dismiss their case. They're Good going stuff. to trial. This will be in the Supreme Court before the presidential election. All right. From your mouth. All right, Betsy McCoy former lieutenant governor of New York and all-around health care expert.